you want your infielders fielding routine ground balls with soft hands, this is a drill you need to incorporate every day. Stick around. In this video, I'm going to show you the wide base funneling drill with progressions and regressions that you can practice with your infielders every day. Let's go ahead and get started. A few main reasons we want to field the ball in a wide base position and funnel it is because we're able to see the ball and the glove at the same time, gives us soft hands, bringing it to the center of our body, and it helps us move towards our target as we're throwing it. The technique for the wide base is as follows. You want your players to have their feet wide outside of their shoulders. Try to keep their feet square for the most part. And we wanna have our back flat with our posture in this position here with our weight slightly forward. Hands are gonna be out front and I like to teach the four eyes. So we have two eyes on our head, an eye on the pocket of the glove and an eye on our throwing hand. So for example, as we're fielding the ball, we've got four eyes on the ball this way. Now let's talk a little bit about the funnel itself. We want to maintain our posture throughout this motion here as we bring our elbows up in towards the center of our body. We're going to take the pinky, this part of our glove here, and we're going to bring that to the navel as we gather the ball towards the center of our body. All right, now let me show you a few. Okay, some common issues you might encounter while you're rolling balls to your players are the following. Number one, they catch it too deep underneath their body. Number two, they catch the ball and they bring it up to their hand. Number three, when they field it, they come out of their posture instead of funneling it. And then number four, they don't track it in. So one more time, I'm going to show you the proper way to do it. We're going to be in the wide base, we're going to stay down, we're going to track it in, and we're going to funnel it, just like that. Okay, we're gonna go over some progressions and a regression right now for some of your more advanced and less advanced players. First, for the progression, as they're fueling the ball, we wanna really make sure that they're getting that four seam grip every single time. And then after they're comfortable doing that, then we're just gonna move our feet towards first base. Notice I grabbed the four seam on that one. Let me do one more. That four seam, get into this position here. And then we're gonna add one more where we start with our glove side foot toe up. And that's really what happens in the game is players get to that position and then go there. Now, moving on to a regression, just taking the footwork out of it, we're going to get into our knee stance. Our knees are going to be about shoulder width apart. We don't want to be sitting back on our heels. We want to have an athletic stance balance here. We're going to practice the four eyes again. Make sure that you're looking at the player's button of their cap. That will help them track the ball into the center of their body. Preset two hands here. And they're just working on soft hands, catching it out front, looking it in, and moving that way. When you're practicing these drills, I prefer that you practice with four to six players. Each player is going to get between two and four reps before you move on as they're set up in a semi-circle. Make sure that when they start to improve and they're getting better and more advanced, that they break up into individuals so they can pair off and practice these drills with each other. These are drills that are going to help you on an everyday basis. It's really going to help your players become more fundamentally sound, be sure you practice these every day.